Okay, guys, I'm sorry, I'm back. The reception is horrible, right? So if I lose you, um, I apologize, but I can't get a good signal in here. So I'm gonna try this message again. You never know. You never know. Um, I was sharing with you guys that I came to LA on an assignment and was kind of in immediate need the first initial thing that for months I knew I was coming here for, I had kind of let that thought go. And then something happened and I needed to get here. And so I moved forward in making that happen. And so in doing that, I said, okay, I'm here. And once I got here, I realized my being here was more than what I thought it was. As a matter of fact, um, <laughs> my assignment changed once I got here. It totally, it changed. And I could have been bummed out about, oh, I'm not doing that and what they asked me to do. I'm not doing what they needed me to do. I'm not doing, but it's okay. Because the thing I stepped in to do, beloved, was such more of a blessing than the thing that I wanted to be here for or thought I was coming for so much more of a blessing let, let me say this you never know who needs your encouraging word you never know who needs your inspiration who needs your hug who just needs you to listen to them who needs you to get them who needs you to hear them who needs your words of wisdom you never know you never know and so I want to encourage you God always tells us that he knows the plan that he has for us plans to prosper us plans to give us a hope in the future one translation says to do us no harm and even though scripture says the ways of man we plan we make our plan but it's God who orders our steps and so I want to encourage you I want to encourage you, go about doing the thing that you believe God has called you to do. Go about doing that. But then be willing. Be willing to, you know, move with the cloud, right? Be willing to submit your way, your plan unto God. Yeah, this was, um, this, I, it's really even hard for me to capture it in words the thing I stepped in to do was more of a blessing than the thing I was assigned to do even people said oh my god you, you blessed me this was such a blessing oh my god I mean we, we just never know how God wants to use us for his glory right because if we stick to our plan, and our plan is not really God's plan, where's my earring? Our plan is not really our our plan is not really His plan. Then we lose something in the translation. We may miss something in being a blessing and an encouragement to someone. So I just want to tell you today: you never know. You never know how God wants to use you. You never know how God wants to help you to bless someone else I'm telling you this is <laughs> I've been to LA I can't even tell you the number of times whether it's on business pleasure whatever but this time had so much purpose it had so much connection in relationships and destiny it, it's just it, it, it was something beyond <sighs> what I could have asked for what I could have asked for. So, you may think it's for this, what you're doing, but God says it's for that. So let, let God, let God throw a wrench in your plans, right? Let him put in the, the that for the this and watch him be glorified. Watch him be pleased. Watch others be blessed by your very presence. You never know who needs that hug, who needs that encouraging word, who needs you to listen, who needs you to tell them it's going to be okay, who needs that prayer, who needs to hear that God's got your back. He is not going to fail you. He is not going to leave you. 
He's brought you too far for that to happen. He honors your faith. He honors your perseverance. He honors it. Someone needs you. I'm telling you, beloved. Someone needs you to be an encouragement to them because you never know. They could be on their last hope, their last leg. They could be ready to throw in the towel. But God sends you. God sends you to just be an encouragement, to love on them, to be a listening ear. So I pray that your weekend has been as awesome and purposeful. And this was a learning experience for me. This was a learning experience for me. And uh, I certainly pray that you have the rest of your holiday weekend and it is blessed. Eat you some barbecue. Uh, I'm going to go home and catch up on some sleep as soon. Honey, let me tell you something. I got a direct flight from Indianapolis, from L.A. to Indianapolis. Do you know how rare that is? <laughs> so it's going to be four hours, but I'm going to be asleep. Okay? So I bless the Lord for this experience. I thank God for you. And I pray, I pray that you hear you hear God and just move with the cloud. And when God says go right, you go right. When he says go left, go left. Don't even trip on, oh, I'm not doing what I thought I was supposed to be doing. I came here for this and now I'm doing that. No, 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 no. In the thing that God moves you in, in the thing that he transitions you in, in the things that he tells you to step into, do it with joy. God loves a cheerful giver. And that's just not your money. That's you giving of your time giving of your talent, giving of your experience, giving of your wisdom, giving of your love. He loves a cheerful giver. So whatever God is calling for you to give away today, it's not always about money, but that's cool too, right? Whatever he's calling for you to give away today, you never know how many people are going to be blessed by you being obedient to just move with the cloud and trust God in change and in transition. Nope, it don't feel good. Train, change does not feel good because you got in your mind what it is you're going to do, what you're going to say, what you're going to wear, how it's going to look, how people are going to respond. You got, you know, you wrote the script, right? But God says, no, I need you to do this. And so, God bless you. Enjoy your Labor Day tomorrow and uh, get some rest. God has a plan for you, so you need to be rested up for what he's about to do. Amen. You have a great rest of a Sunday. And I will see you on the other side <laughs> of this flight. God bless. Be encouraged.